What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is my first 2024 F350 trimmer. This is one of our customers straight from Oregon who picked this up in Iowa to come through the D to get some work done from me. PTT, I wanna go over some of the things that we did to this brand new truck and some of the things that you're gonna to have to work around when doing your DCR. This is for the 23, 24 model years. All right, guys, let's check it out. All right, everybody, thanks for coming back and checking us out. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe right here at the bottom. This is a brand new 24 Tremor Platinum with all the bells and whistles. It's a fine, fine gem for being brain new. Right here, 24. But what this customer uh, wound up doing, not only ordering his his uh, brand new truck he came through and uh ordered a pusher power flow intake uh, from jacob over there at the uh, pusher team we have a cold side pipe the hot side intercooler pipe uh they are just coming out with so during this installation process the pipe wasn't out uh just yet so we reused the the hot side pipe but the most interesting thing that we did was installed SNS's DCR. This was the first 2023 four model year that a DCR has been installed. Um, I was in close communication with SNS during the installation and I wanted to go over with you guys. I know you saw the video of where we installed it on that 21 Tremor uh, a while ago. It was over a year ago, I think, when that uh, when that video came out. Uh, so reference that, I'll put that in the description. But a few things that were different on this one, particularly because it is a high output. Well, what that means, not only do you have a different PCM calibration, transmission, turbocharger, um, you have these extra coolant lines that are now coming off of the secondary cooling system and are now in your way of taking the intake manifold off. So what I wound up doing, I did not drain the coolant all the way. Uh, I wound up capping off this hose or crimping off, crimping off this hose and a new style twist connect. These twist just like this. That white thing, you saw that white thing move, you twist just like that, and then you can pull it off. It's super easy, um, didn't have to use any tools. Um, but I wound up losing just a little bit of coolant that were in those black pipes, and then down into the impeller side of the turbocharger, and the uh, coolant uh, loss was very minimal. So I wound up being able to take these lines off and kind of laying them over here, which I have to still clean off with a garden hose because I dripped some coolant on, but I needed this to pivot. So I wound up disconnecting this and immediately putting one of these caps on and it allowed me to have a secure tight connection here while leaving this whole loop over here. Uh, it worked out really well. So that was one of the things I don't want you guys to feel uh, cluttered or overwhelmed when you see all these hoses. I mean, it was a, you know, black, black plastic clip here. We had another one here. These are new here, here, here. Um, this is different. Uh, what else is different? This was different. This usually had a twang that would go into the cold side pipe, but it was in a different spot and didn't have a, that little, um, you know, one, one of these on it. Okay, so the next thing that was different, let me turn the light on, see if you guys can see down here with me. This is the high output with the Pro Power generator on it. And because of that, we have two drive belts. So 
what we do when we take off, oh, you can see where I tightened it, and you can see where I loosened it right there in the fan clutch. Uh, you want to take the fan off, and I just lay it down here in the fan shroud, and that's typical for doing the S&S. There's no real reason to... Um, uh, take it completely out of the vehicle. But what that allowed me to do was get to this tensioner right here. You can see the light that's, you can see right there. I'm on it now and now I'm off of it. I'm on it, I'm off of it. So that tensioner has got to come up and releases the belt that you can take off and immediately pull up out of the way. And then that allow you to get to the primary tensioner, which you can see the butt end of it right there. Uh, that still has to come off, but in addition to that, this pulley has to come off. It wasn't until I started taking that bracket off, you can see the uh, shape of it's completely different. We have a hidden bolt that's still in the factory spot that it's always been, but you can't see it like you had typically were on the older model. So you kind of have to play uh, uh, the braille game and figure out where that, that particular sensor is. Now, when I had the intake and everything off, I hate fighting that trim clip that's directly underneath the belt that holds the fan wiring to that little bracket. Uh, I wound up being able to successfully come in this way with my long trim tool and completely popped it up and was able to take the electrical connector off. It was no big deal. Uh, this truck does have 600, 700 miles on it. So, I mean, things weren't coming apart hard anyway. So, um, the crank pulley has dual belt application so it's deeper inside the the well of where the bolts are so what i typically used was just this so now i had to use my 12 point my 18 12 point and and this combination so it was a little uh, different bolts were the same just uh they were different different side different depth in the pulley so uh once i got that off the remainder of the installation was pretty much the same i didn't have any issues with uh, taking the two studs out that went through the block you know through the front cover vacuum pump uh, looked the same um, the timing marks on the high pressure pump gear were real shiny iridescent looking so I, I actually missed them the first time and had to look at it again and I, and I found it um, but this was the second uh, SNS this is the second DCR that I did this week that had the new updated line I don't know if you guys remember um, talking about the updated line that was gonna uh, be more robust for the 20 plus because of the coolant hose line going to the turbocharger so this was uh, a, a joy to to work with the new line uh, all the other ones must have been you know the um just the ones that were were in stock so um until they got rid of all of those and got the new the new stock seed or the new seed stock in um you know, we were able to use the new the new line set um Took the fuel filter out, took the fuel filter cup out. It's got the new um, CCV box on it, so that that made it, um, um, you know, okay to, to work around. Uh, doing the pusher, we did have to modify the uh, oil dipstick tube. So cut it off pretty nice. There's no more bracket. Painted it with some black spray paint. Looks real good. Looks real good. Um, for the most part, that's... That's really about it. This pipe changed. It didn't have uh, this uh, woven flex pipe looking stuff on it. Um, 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 what else am I umming? That was pretty much, pretty much it. Uh, I went over with a bunch. I went over with S and S a bunch of stuff um, that you know what we're talking about right now, so they kind of know uh, what they were going to be looking at when they started doing their twenty three. Um, testing and uh, continuing forward with implementing the model years 23 and 24 into current production so that we can start prioritizing and selling the DCR kits for the new model. We can't leave you guys out. We already got the 11s all the way through the 22s. We've been doing them nonstop. Uh, we're just going to be adding the 23 and 24s so that you guys can enjoy a trouble-free, metal-free uh, ownership of not having AC before anymore. So tell me what you guys think about this 
truck in the comments. Remember to like, comment, sub, share. It is freaking glorious. I love the seats. Let me show you the interior. I like the, the double, the double tone interior. Pretty sick. Uh, one other note too. Um, these people here at this uh, dealership, apparently uh, when you order a truck, they give you a, uh, um, uh, I don't know. Hey, what'd you say the deal was for when you, when they got these trucks? It was 2% what? Yeah. Invoice plus 2%? Uh, the, the deal I think they had was uh, the invoice minus 2% um, uh, when you order uh, a new vehicle. So if you're thinking about it, they went from Oregon to Iowa to pick up their new truck. And we're going to continue with some mods. I'll catch you guys later. Hopefully it's your 23 or 24. I'll see you guys.